everyone, it's me, Lainey, again from Life is But a Dish. I know that I was just here last week, but I'm excited to be back with episode three of Dinner in a Hurry. Today I'm going to show you how to make slow cooker mashed potatoes that are going to change your life. I promise you'll never make them another way again. So here's the deal. I know it's dinner in a hurry, and technically this dish takes three or four hours to make, but only minutes to prepare, and it's completely hands off, and on a day like Thanksgiving when you have so many other things to do, it frees up space and time to do other things. Here's what I have going on to start. I have four pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes. I find these are the best potatoes to use for mashed potatoes. They make them super creamy and delicious. I have some garlic, chicken stock, but you could use veggie stock or water, and my slow cooker. These first couple steps are the hardest part of the recipe. So I'm just gonna peel all the potatoes, dice them up, mince up the garlic, and then I'm gonna put everything in the slow cooker and then set it and forget it. So I sprayed the inside of the slow cooker with a little bit of cooking spray and I just added my diced potatoes, the minced garlic, and the stock is under there, just the one cup. And I'm going to cook it on high for three to four hours. I'll check it at three hours and see how it is. So I set this for three hours. There's about 50 minutes left in the cooking time and you can see that they're already starting to get soft. Um, I'm going to let them keep going and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. It smells amazing. The potatoes are just about done cooking. I'm going to turn it off and add one cup of half and half. You could also use whole milk, a little bit of sour cream, six tablespoons of melted butter, and some salt and pepper. We're gonna mix it all in and we're gonna be done. So here's the potatoes, they're nice and cooked through. Don't worry if there's a couple of like brown edges here and there. They're gonna mix right in when we add all of the fixins. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And there you have it, you guys, perfectly cooked creamy slow cooker mashed potatoes i like to leave a little bit of texture but if you like them thinner you can add a little more liquid some more half half and half and then just leave these on warm until you're ready to serve and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of dinner in a hurry and i hope you guys make these mashed potatoes for thanksgiving i promise you're gonna love them as much as i do i'll see you guys next month mm.